Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simple muzzle flash in After Effects. So what you want to do is open up After Effects. And wait for this to load. By the way, this does work with the free version, so if you're on the trial, this will work. Go ahead and close that out. If you don't want this here anymore, you can just click this, and it won't show up anymore. But I just sometimes find it interesting. So, go to your project, double-click this window to import something, and let's see. I'll choose something from CSI. Let's see. Um, that's it. I'll make a video of how to get someone to die. Um, not seeing one. Is this one? Yeah, that'll work. Actually, this one's probably better. Uh, uh, never mind. Open it. What you do is you drag it into this new sequence button right here. And there you go. And so next, you go here and you import your muzzle flash. Uh, you can get these just straight off of Safari or from Action Essentials Pack. Then you just kind of render it until the shot. And then you command. Hold on. You command right arrow to go to next frame. And right as it goes up, as you can see, it's going up right there. You put it on the frame right before it goes up. So what you do is take it, drag it, there it is. Then what you want to do, see how this purple bar is all the way across? That means it's going through the whole video. You don't want that. So you press Alt, uh, uh, Start Bracket, and then press End Bracket, and that makes it one frame thick. Next, what you want to do is right click, Blending Mode, Screen. This takes away all the black. As you can see, there is a little bit of extra stuff there, but it's fine. You still you can't see it. Bigger the muzzle flash, the better. Don't want it too big though, and that looks pretty good. There you go. And then to export this, all you have to do: composition, add to render queue. If you want your sound. You go. You click on output mode, audio output. Okay. You can change your settings here, whatever you want. Uh, you can create a custom setting if you want. Like if you wanted it to be up one. See, this is this is horizontal. This is vertical. Wait, I don't know. Yeah, horizontal, vertical. Sorry about that. And. Then you click this and where you want it to render to. Yeah. Then you click render. I'm not going to render it because I don't need it. And it'll make a noise when it's done, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.